Hey guys, it's Wednesday morning and I have eight eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. First thing's down here in E5. It is some Walking Dead figures. Let's see here. So there's two figure packs. There's a Daryl Dixon figure and a hospital bed or hospital doors construction set. These four I all got in Fort Wayne. Gosh, it's been what, I think three or four months ago. Uh, the lot sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is in B5. It is a Hallmark ornament right here. Harley Davidson uh, 1957 XL Sportster. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next is up here on the shelf. It's one of these boxes of scotch hang tabs that I got from my buddy Mike. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is an F1. It's actually two things I'm pulling out of here. First is a Stanley Cup uh, replica from when the Red Wings won it in 2008. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And next is a Zippo lighter new in the box that sold for $14.99 free shipping. All right, next thing I'm pulling is a tennis racket. This one right here, it's a head. TIS-6, something I got from Kevin, the Tennessee picker. The grip was pretty worn on this, uh, but I usually don't replace them because most of the time the people that are buying it are going to have the own kind of grip that they like, and grips aren't super cheap. I mean, to get a nice new grip, it's going to be close to 10 bucks. So I just usually leave them like they are and say, you know, the grip's worn, it's going to need a new one. So that hurts the value a little bit, but not a whole lot. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, last thing I'm shipping is something that I listed this morning. It is a PS2 Slim, all the way down here at the bottom. Uh, tested and working, but I didn't have controllers or, you know, any of the extra stuff to put with it. So I just sold it console only, and it sold for $39.99 plus shipping. It's Thursday morning, I have six eBay orders to ship out. But first, I'm going to answer a question from a viewer. This is from Rich Fry. How many hours per day or week do you spend on listing? Do you set daily, weekly, monthly listing goals by dollar amount or number of items and listings? To answer your first question, every week it varies from like 15 to 25 hours a week that I spend on listing. It depends on how much time I'm spending on sourcing. Um, in the summertime when garage sales are, you know, all over the place, I don't spend as much time listing. But in like the fall and winter time, when I'm pretty much at the warehouse all the time, I spend a lot more time on listing. So this week, for example, I'm really not going out looking for much stuff because I've got a lot. I've been doing a lot of buying lately. So I'll probably put in like 25 hours just for listing this week. As far as setting goals, I like to keep track of everything on my momentum board. Basically just shows what I've listed and for how much. And that really helps me like stay on track of like what I'm doing because I'm putting it on, a, you know, I'm putting pen to paper of like what I'm getting done instead of just hoping to get stuff done every week. So what I do is like I'll show my daily listings. So like Monday I did 40, Tuesday 16, uh, Wednesday 28. Today I've already done like 21 and I plan to do more. Here's like weekly listings. I haven't updated this for a while. And then I keep track of monthly sales just so I can kind of look back and see which months were low, which months were high, and what I need to do to kind of increase it. I haven't updated this in a while, so I'm going to go ahead and update that. All right, my active listings as of December 10th are 500 and 59 which i think something that could maybe help you to keep track of like i guess ebay success or how well you're doing is track your sold so like in my ebay app it shows 90 day total um how much i've sold i've sold 776 so that's your sell-through rate you take your active items uh, for me it's 559 and then your how much you've sold which is 776 divide one by the other and you get your sell-through rate for that 90 days anyways um, so if you're selling around you know close to 100 percent or more than 100 percent of your store in 90 days you're doing pretty good all right let's pull some orders first is an e3 this is a uh, heli hansen wool cap i've had this for almost a year actually i've got a dollar into it it sold for 11.99 plus shipping next is in c5 it's two things it is a handheld metal detector and then a metal detector search coil. Let's see here. Here is the search coil. Selling this for my mother-in-law. That sold for $64.99 plus shipping. And the metal detector, or the handheld one, is right here. Bullseye 2, that sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next order has two items. First is up here in C9. It is one of these Dorbs from Batman. It's Two-Face. That sold for $5.99 plus shipping. And next is in D3. 
This is a Robin action figure, also sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Those two are going out to everybody named Marcel. Marcel, thank you so much for the support. That means a lot. All right, last name shipping out in D1. This is a Looney Tunes coffee mug, a jumbo one. I got it at a garage sale. About two months ago, I paid 50 cents for it. sold for $14.99 plus shipping. That mug's going out to a viewer named Dean. He says, hi, John. I had to buy this as it brought me back to growing up in the 90s. Big fan of your YouTube videos, and it brightens my day when I see you upload. I would love a sticker and a shout-out if possible. I'm on YouTube at 902 Vlogs. Happy picking from Nova Scotia, Canada. Dean, thank you so much for the business. I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. All right, I almost forgot one more thing I got to ship out today. I sold an old microphone. Let's see here. Probably way down here in the bin because it's been a while since we listed it. This guy right here, this is an old RCA uh, microphone I bought from the Mojo Casher crew. I had it listed at like 150 best offer. Someone sent me an offer of $100 plus shipping and I accepted. All right, I'm doing a little bit of listing and I went to list this Teddy Ruxpin doll. This is one of the old ones from the 90s. And I put the tape in, put the batteries in, turn it on. How creepy is that? I thought you guys would get a kick out of that. It's Friday morning, I have 15 eBay orders to ship out, and after this, I'm going over to my antique mall to restock some stuff. All right, first thing we're pulling is a PC game, an A4. This one right here, The Legend of Kyrandia. Um, this is something I got in Fort Wayne like three or four months ago as a bulk buy of stuff. And I sent out a handful of offers yesterday, maybe like 15 or 20. And this is one of the things I sent an offer on of $28 plus shipping and they accepted. Next is some glassware. Let's see, it's a set of six glasses. They're in the styrofoam. And I believe it's one of these up here. I got a variety of them up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this whole box down. All right, these are the brown ones. The ones I sold are yellow. So let's set those aside. So these are brown too, so it must be these right here, hopefully. Yep, these are the ones. Um, these were all in the storage units that I bought. Gosh, I guess it's been like seven or eight months now. And I only listed these a few months ago. Glassware is kind of a hard sell, so I wasn't expecting them to sell all that fast. I think I listed this set of six for like $60 plus shipping and I sent out an offer of $45 plus shipping and someone accepted. The thing that's nice about these is they've already got the styrofoam like ready to go. I mean, this styrofoam is made for these glasses. So what I'm gonna do is put tape around the edges really well just to seal that styrofoam and then probably a layer of bubble wrap all around it and then put it in the box and it should be good to go. Next thing is a tennis racket. I listed three yesterday and one of them sold already. I believe it is this one right here. Let's see. I think it is. Let's double check the listing here. Not this one. All right, let's put this one back. It is this one right here. The Hyper Hammer Wilson. Just like the other one I sold, needed a new grip, so it hurt the value a little bit. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is down an F6. So I'm going to move this rack out of the way. is a pair of pants carhartt these are washed duck work dungarees new with the tags something i got from kevin the tennessee picker i think i have these listed for like 25 plus shipping somebody sent me an offer of 20 dollars plus shipping and i accepted i actually have like seven or eight pair of these so if i get 20 bucks a pop for those i'll be really happy all right next thing is also an item i sent out an offer for let's see this right here, I guess I'll just pull the whole bin. This is a Little Tyke's car, or I guess it's a, a big truck, and it's got two cars in it. I got this at a garage sale over the summer. Paid about five bucks for it. Not super valuable. I think I had it listed for like $25 plus shipping. Yesterday I sent out an offer of $18 plus shipping and someone accepted. That Little Tyke's truck is going out to a viewer. She says, hello, John, happy holidays. I've been a long time fan of your channel. I've learned a lot from your expertise. I appreciate the offer on this toy. My granddaughter will love this. She's two and a half. Another Christmas gift from her Nana in Washington. I've been a part-time seller on eBay since 1998. I'd love a shout out of my eBay store, Angels Vintage Treasures. Keep up the great work. Blessings on you and your family. Regards, Marianne. Marianne, thank you so much for the kind words and the support. I hope your granddaughter loves that toy. All right, next thing I'm shipping out is something I pulled from my storage unit. This is a Callaway FT5 driver. I also got from Tennessee Picker. This sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a cookie jar right up here. Let's see. I got all this at a garage sale for like $25, $30. Bucks. And one of them is a cookie jar, and then the other one is like 
a whole set of jars. So this is the cookie one, I'm pretty sure. So let's pull this out of here. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is a lot of video games. It's 35 games right here. Just listed these yesterday. There is PS3, Wii, PS1, there's some DS games. This whole lot sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Correction, these sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Those games are going out to your name Tanner. Tanner, thank you for the support. Hope you like those games. Next is in C3. I'm gonna pull the whole bin because I sold more than one thing out of here. First thing I sold is this neon pink Auto Works racing team hat, something I got up in Piqua. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next is a video game, Putty Squad for PS4. That sold for $8.99 free shipping. Let's go and ask if you're named Dustin. Dustin, thank you for the business. Hope you like the game. Next is another video game, Plants vs. Zombies GW2. This sold uh, for $8.99 free shipping. Let's also go and ask a viewer if you're named Devin bought this. Devin, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. And last thing we're pulling out of C3 is a hat. Uh, Union Workman Chewing Tobacco. Not as old as it looks. It is vintage. I'd guess 90s probably. Maybe 80s. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next thing going out is a pennant. It is this New York Giants. If I can pull it out of here. There we go. Uh, this sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next thing is this Cooper Hockey Helmet. Also something I got up in Piqua. Uh, these vintage helmets can sell for really good money. This one's not in great shape, but still sold. There's a good market for these things. I'll keep an eye out for them. This sold for $99.99 plus shipping. And the last thing I'm pulling is a model car. I believe it is this one right here. Yeah, 1967 Chevy Impala. Thing is sharp, isn't it? That sold for $29.99. Plus shipping. All right, guys. I'm at my antique mall. I did not bring that much in today. I got this old gas can, a golf bag, and a wood crate. But mostly, I just wanted to stop by and get this spruced up a little bit before the weekend hits. All right, before I leave, I want to check my guest book. That's always my favorite thing to do. All right, since I've last been here, I've had visits from the Bearded Flipper, Laura, Owen, Jennifer, Adriana, and Eden, and Charlie. Guys, thank you all so much for stopping by the booth. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.